President Trump's escalation of trade threats against China reflect his belief that Washington increasingly has the upper hand. But does the stock market agree with the president? The Fed says sturdy U.S. economic growth has built a strong case for continuing to lift interest rates in 2018. But will the falling yield curve scare away investors? Small caps set a lifetime high and look solid on the relative rotation graph. Do you know what's in your portfolio? If you don't, you should. If you want to know, we can help. Here's what's moving the markets and your money. I'm Charles Brown. It's Thursday, June 21st, and this is CB3 on 3. At CB3 Financial Group, we don't just manage your assets. We become one of them. In political influences, President Donald Trump's escalation of trade threats against China reflects his belief that Washington increasingly has the upper hand in this dispute, adding he is prepared to withstand pressure from U.S. businesses that might suffer from this conflict. Trump caught Chinese officials off guard with his announcement Monday evening about potential new tariffs. If China retaliates against U.S. trade policies, the White House said that the U.S. would apply tariffs of 10% on as much as $400 billion in Chinese imports. The bulk of these tariffs would go into effect July 6th. Here's my take on the political implications for our investments. All you need to do is look at the chart I present here to see just how huge our trade deficit is with China. It's more than $37 billion just last year. And the first four months of 2018 looks just as bad percentage-wise. Folks, it's taken us 60 years and six presidents to make this mess. It's going to take a few years to gain some parity with the Chinese on trade. Now let's look at our exports. Only 8.6% of all U.S. exports are headed to China. For China, nearly 20% of all their exports are headed for the U.S. Since we are the net buyer, we, the U.S., have the upper hand in the politics of trade deficit negotiations. And President Trump knows this. In fundamental influences, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell said sturdy U.S. economic growth has built a strong case for continuing to gradually lift interest rates. And he warned against policy complacency now that the Federal Reserve has nearly achieved its employment and price stability goals. The Fed's rate-setting committee unanimously agreed last week to lift the central bank's benchmark short-term rate for the second time this year. And officials penciled in two, not one, more rate increases this year. Here's my take on the fundamental implications for our investments. It is the Fed's dual mandate to keep maximum employment strong and consumer prices in check. Our current U3 unemployment rate is 3.9% and is widely expected to drop to as low as 3.7% before the summer's end. Thus, the Fed is simply normalizing rates back to where those rates would have been if the severe recession of 2008-2009 had not lasted so long. The Fed is not so much raising interest rates as they are normalizing rates to where interest rates should be in a healthy economy, which is certainly the case in the U.S. now. Please check out our recent webinar, which contains an explanation on the yield curve as used for monitoring inflation risk for your investments. In technical influences, look at the small cap asset class on whose strength we continue to report. IWM, the small cap benchmark, hit a lifetime high Tuesday, even with the Dow losing more than 200 points. Small caps are now the decisive leaders of the four major U.S. indices. They push even farther now into the leading quadrant. Last week, I expressed concern that only the energy sector was in the leading quadrant, and now you can see the consumer discretionary sector has joined and moving upward or north along with energy. Since both these sectors are among the pace setters in the stock market, this is a positive as we move further into the summer months. And that's CB3 on 3 for Thursday, June 21st. We hope you'll watch our latest webinar, Investing in Today's Crazy Markets. What's in your portfolio? If you don't know, you should. If you want to know, we can help. I'm Charles Brown, and at CB3 Financial Group, we don't just manage your assets, we become one of them.